Welcome to a GCN training session. Today's session's 30 minutes long. Now it's a HIT session, and that stands for High Intensity Interval Training. It's a really good session, this one. We've got eight max 30 second efforts, and then seven nice easy rests. They're gonna start off nice and big, so three minutes, then they're gonna work all the way down, and you get shorter rest, the tighter you get. It's a tough one, but it's absolutely perfect because it's nice and short. So you can really make use of that small time you might have available. So we've got a five minute warm up. So this is where you kind of want to get the blood pumping, your muscles nice and warmed up. A few things to remember though, make sure you have some water on board. So a bottle on your bike or somewhere close, and then maybe a towel if you've got one. I for sure do a lot of sweating, so I do definitely need some, uh, a towel there. We've got a few guests with us today. So we've got four guests. We've got Katie to our left at the front, Max on the right, of on my right, and then at the back, Carlo and Emily. So they're gonna be working hard as well with you back at home. So I hope you're feeling nice and comfortable now. We've got three minutes and 40 seconds left of that warm up, And then we're gonna go in to those 30 second max efforts. So these 30 second max, you can do it in the saddle or you can jump out of the saddle and do a nice sprint. Kind of depends on how you feel. So if you're comfortable getting out of the saddle, then do try that. You might wanna just raise the gears, so maybe click down one or two gears, give yourself some resistance. If you've got a heart rate monitor, so you can track how hard you're going. And if you've got power also, you can work on hitting those PBs. It might start off nice and strong in your first efforts, and then it will start to decrease the tighter you get. Nevertheless, every, every single interval, try and do your hardest. So that's perceived effort of 10. So we're looking at around one to two perceived effort now as you warm those legs up. Try and sit at a cadence maybe of 90 to 100. I'm just gonna look around the room now. We got Carlo sitting at a good cadence, Max also. Nice cadences over there. They're all looking very fresh at the minute, but don't you worry, they're gonna start to really feel it when we come into those last couple of intervals. So looking at the clock now, we got two minutes and 20 seconds. While we're warming up though, we've got a new channel. So it's the GCN training channel. So make sure if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanna see more training videos, then make sure you click on the link at the end of this session. And also, if there's some sessions that you would like to do, and you'd, we would like to do them for you, then let us know in that comment section below. Oh, definitely feeling nice and warm now. I'm gonna raise that cadence a little bit more now as it starts to get warmer. How are you feeling, Max? Yeah, good. Yeah? Yeah. Are you ready for this session? Is this session you do a lot? Nah. No? Not really. Not how many old 30 second uh, <laughs> max efforts, but you know, it's good to do something different. So Max is a climber, so he normally works on those drawn out efforts. But this is a good session for anyone out there. So if you want to do weight loss or you're just looking to get a really good burst in, then this is, this is the session for you. Right, we've got one minute and 15 seconds left. So you should really be starting to feel nice and warm now. That heart rate should be starting to rise. Maybe take some water on board before we hit that 30 second max effort. Once we've done this 30 second max effort, we're gonna go into three minutes recovery. So remember, let's make it a good one. Every session and every interval, let's make it count. 45 seconds. Are we ready? Game face is on now. Feel free to sit either in the tops or whatever bike you're using, or in the drops. Get a nice, strong grip on the bars, depending on if you're in the saddle or out the saddle. Right, 30 seconds to go. Start thinking about the gear selection now. So I'm gonna move up to my big ring. Right, we've got 15 seconds now. Warm up that gear. Select a gear you feel comfortable in. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, up. 
Up, bring it up, it's 30 seconds long. So you kind of want to think about the effort. It's not that short. It is really quite long. So you want to really try and dig in. Right, halfway now. Really trying to ramp up in this last 10 seconds. Dig in. Nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Super effort. Whoo! Definitely got the legs woken up there. So this is an opportunity now to drop down back down the gears. Now think about your recovery now. Keep it a nice high cadence, but not that much resistance. So spin those legs. All right, you might be breathing deeply now, and it might be a bit of a shock to the system, but don't worry. We've got seven more max efforts to go, and you're gonna love it. Right, two minutes 20. Deep breaths now. Katie's taking a drink on board. Good opportunity to do the same if you're at home. So make sure you get that hydration in is absolutely key for indoor sessions. When you're indoors, you're not getting all that fresh air and you're not getting that natural cooling. All you've got is your fan if you've got one, but other than that, you're really gonna start to raise that body temperature and start to sweat an awful lot. So make sure you really replenish those fluids by taking as much water on board as possible. And it's also worth remembering, once you've done the session, it's always good to get into the habit of taking a pint of water afterwards. It's so easy to get dehydrated when you're working out inside. All right, we're just over one minute before we're gonna go into our next max effort. So Emily, back right, is a sprinter. So this is a session she works on quite often to raise those max power efforts. So we've got 40 seconds now. Start bringing that heart rate down a bit. Slowing down your breathing. You've got 30 seconds now to concentrate on that next effort. Have a little think about your gear selection. Was it the right in the last effort? If it wasn't, then make a slight change. If it was perfect, then well done. Right, we've got 15 seconds now. Got a few sweat droplets running down some of our guest faces over there. Good to see. Right, guys, we've got five seconds. Select that gear. Three, two, one. Bring it up now, come on. Dig in now. Hup, 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 hup. Come on, keep putting that power out. Halfway now, 15 seconds. 10. Dig in. Ah. Five, four, three, two, one and relax. Spin those legs off. Deep breaths now. So now we've got two and a half minutes recovery. 30 seconds left, less than last time. So it's gonna feel an awful lot quicker. So concentrate now on slowing down that heart rate. A good trick is to take big, long, deep breaths. That heart rate should be coming down. Fantastic effort on your first two intervals. We've got six left. 
But don't think about that. Just think about the next one. And make sure that every one of those intervals, you're completing it to your best ability. Super key. Right. Get some water in. It's coming up on us fast now. Max is raring to go. We've got one minute. It's also good to watch some of our guests' position on the bike. Keeping that nice, strong core. Good frame. So all that power is being transitioned through the legs and it's not being wasted on your upper body. So really concentrate on that when you're indoor training. Keep a nice solid platform and letting your legs do the work. Keeping your hips nice and square. Right guys, 25 seconds to go. Are we ready? I hope those smiles are still upon your faces. I've lost a few, few smiles. I'm seeing a couple out there. Right guys, 10 seconds now. Select that gear. I'm going to move it up into the big ring. Feeling good. Three, two, one. Right up now. If you're out of the saddle, keep pushing up that power. I totally understand. 30 seconds is a long effort, but do your best to get all the way to the end. If you want to just focus on my voice, then you can do that. And I'll count you back. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Ah, oh, fantastic effort. Really, really well done. Now your body and legs and all that respiratory system should be woken up now. Blood's gonna be pumping around your body. Get into all those necessary areas. Right, so we got another two minutes, 30 seconds rest. So two minutes left. Forget about those three intervals now, put them aside. We're on to the next couple now. Right, really, really well done. I've got to say though, if you're doing this in the morning, lunchtime, or even in the evening, there's nothing better than the feeling of the endorphins that you've just done a hard session. You can sit down, relax, knowing that you've really done your hard work for today. You've done your bit of fitness. Your metabolism has been kick-started and you're able to burn those calories that a little bit more efficiently throughout the day. Right, coming up to one minute. I know, I'm sorry. It creeps up really, really quickly. I can only apologize for all my sweat, but it just shows that I'm working hard. I'm, uh, I'm not putting it in easy gear, no. I'm really going for those perceived effort of 10. Right, guys, are we ready now? Going into our fourth effort. We come up to halfway. Remember gear selection. If you're at a loose end knowing what to do, then have a look at our guests. Some are in the saddle, some are out the saddle. You can try and mimic what they're doing. Or you can just focus on your own effort and drive it home. Whether that's in the saddle or out the saddle. Whether that's high cadence or low cadence. This is your session. Four, three, two, one, up now. I'm in the saddle for this session, so I'm gonna raise it up. 20 seconds, dig in now. Nice and fast cadence. Really push, 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 push. 10 seconds to go. Come on, you could do it. Anyone could do 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, 
One and squeeze out. Right, guys, you've got two minutes recovery. Right, you've got 130. Now, remember this is your rest section. So making the most of it. Something a friend once told me was try and crystal crank. Meaning your cranks are made of crystal and you don't want to break or fracture them. So nice and gentle on the pedals. Focus on that deep breathing. Getting all that good oxygen, all those red blood cells. Make the most of every single breath. Don't think about the effort. Think about the time you're in now. Right, you've got 40 seconds. I've got to say, guys, you're halfway through. <laughs> now, you've got to pat yourself on the back. Yes, we've got four more to go, but the hard part is already behind you. Now it's focusing on the next four sessions and intervals, and you'll be flying, I'm telling you. 20 seconds now. All right, Casey over there is changing gear, selecting a slightly bigger gear, getting a bit more resistance. Obviously nice and warmed up. Right, five seconds to go. Get that gear selected. Three, two, one, up now, come on. Dig in, you got this. Push, push, push now. Coming up, 10 seconds done. Come on, Carlo, Max, Emily, you got this. Come on, Kate. Dig in. Push now. Right, gonna count you down, so keep going. Five, four, all the way to the line. Two, one, and rest. All right. Epic effort. Fantastic. Two minutes now. All right, maybe stretch off your back. Sometimes it's quite difficult being in that solid position, especially in these sprints. So use this opportunity to get back off the saddle if you can. Stretch that back. Maybe stretch off your arms, shake it off. You've got one minute 30, so you can really relax. It's also good to open up your lungs and your diaphragm. Deep breaths now. Right, fantastic effort. All of our team have got a good sufficient sweat on. Great to see. They're working as hard as you are. Right, 60 seconds now. Come on now. Get nice and energized. That positive thoughts. Don't think about work. Don't think about your stresses in life. It's now, this is your time. Make the most of it. Encourage yourself all the way to that last second. All the way to the finishing line. Don't cheat yourself out of it. Let's make it to the end. Carlo's looking incredibly focused. I want to see that from everyone at home. You can also watch Max really pushing that last five seconds out. Right, 10 seconds now. Max is selecting that gear. Right, five, four, three, Two, one, raise it now. Up, 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 up. Dig in. Think yourself, you're in a race. You just attacked. You're off the start. You're gonna hang on for 30 seconds so the breakaway sticks and you're away from your competitors. Or you just wanna get as much out of you as you possibly can. 10 seconds to go. Dig, 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 dig deep. Five, four, three, 
two, one, and back off. Woo! Woo! Settle down into your bite now. Woo! Nice solid breath. One minute, 30 seconds of recovery. Max, how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, starting to bite. I yeah. reckon. I'm trying to do like five seconds out of the saddle and then the rest just in the saddle at a set sort of power. What kind of cadence are you putting out, mate? 100, just over 100. Try and I find it like quite nice with that short effort to just be able to keep on top of it. When will you say is the best time to put this kind of session into your day? Uh, yeah, I'd say probably afternoon or evening. I don't know, it works some people, some people are morning people, so just get out of bed, have a quick coffee and an energy bar and then just smash it out. Yeah, important point there you just made. If you're struggling to get up in the mornings and you're a bit of a coffee drinker, then getting some caffeine in, so maybe an espresso really helps to kickstart that engine. So have a think about that, or if you're tea, I know Max likes his teas, so uh, grab a tea in before your session. You don't want to take on too much, so have a think about how much you're taking on before the effort. Right guys, we've got three seconds to go. Two, one, up, 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 up. Come on, Max, dig in. Go on, Katie, you've got this. Dig in. Emily, keep putting out a serious power. You're neck and neck with Carlo. Up, 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 up. 10 seconds. Keep nice and focused, nice and strong on the bike. Five, four, three, all the way to the line. Two, one, recover. Right, guys. Well done, solid, solid effort. This is our last effort now. So you really wanna make this one count. One minute, 10 seconds. Focus on that last effort. Really keep nice and focused. Your mind's clear. Your body's worked up and warmed up. It's now down to this last 30 seconds. This is the one that's gonna make the difference. It's gonna put you against your competitors. It's going to keep that metabolism fighting all through the day. 30 seconds. Come on, guys. Let's make this one your best one. You can do it now. 30 seconds left. I want to see everyone at home giving their absolute all on this one. 20 seconds. Think about it. You've got a long rest after it. I'm going to select my biggest gear or at least on the front. So I'm gonna be going to my big chain ring. I'm gonna get on the drops. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Drive it now, hop, hop. Dig in now. Fight, always the end. Last 20 seconds of the session. Come on. Up, 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 up. 10 seconds, keep that effort going, all the way to the line. <sighs> Dig in, four, three, two, one. You're done. Oh. Hi. I am sufficiently dead. And you guys are probably too. But that's okay, because it's all done. <sighs> right. Five minutes and 40 seconds of your recovery now. Now try and stay all the way to the end. I know all you want to do is finish that effort, jump off the bike. But that is where a lot of people fall short. Make sure you work out those efforts. So this is a really important time to spin out your legs. If you want to do a couple of minutes and then keep us rolling, 
and do a few stretches, then feel free to do so. But really try and use this time wisely to go back down through the gears, spinning off the legs, crystal cranking as they used to call it, maybe stretching off your back. Now I really hope you enjoy this session. As I said at the beginning, if you did, give this video a big thumbs up. And if there's any session that you think would be really important for us to make, then put it in that comment section below. And let us know just how you find out, how you find it. Is it good length and duration? And is it hitting the points that you wanna hit? This is really good for the winter, and it's really good just for getting your metabolism going. So it helps that weight loss too. Really appreciate all you guys that have come and watched and joined. And also again, massive thank you to our guests who are there sweating out with you, me, and all of us at home. Right, enjoy it now. This is your last three minutes and 40 seconds before you get back to the stresses of life that we all have to go through. So use it wisely, relax. Watch your heart rate just drop down nicely. Solid effort by a whole team out there actually. They're looking sufficiently tired. They were looking very fresh at the beginning, but now they for sure have been putting out some serious wattage. Right, you've got three minutes left. Max, how do you feel in the session? Uh, yeah, pretty knackered now. Yeah? I'm pretty grim one, like that sicky feeling you get with those days, like in efforts. Yeah, but there's a positive to that, isn't there, Max? There it means is, you've yeah. worked really hard and you've put in a serious bit of effort. Get on with so, my day now and feel like I've achieved something pretty good. There you go. Yeah, a really good one to kickstart your day, like Max said. So yes, it's 30 minutes long and it feels very short and it may, might look very short, but this is all you need really to keep the muscles firing, to keep your metabolism also going throughout the day, giving that engine a kickstart. Right, we've got two minutes left. So why don't, if you can, come off your bars, stretch out that back. Stretch out those arms. If you can, put one arm over the other, like so. Stretch out those shoulders. It's really easy, especially as a cyclist, to get all cramped into that certain position. So working on stretching out your arms and maybe your back. If you can do it on your bike, then do it while your legs are just spinning. If you can't, that's okay. All you have to do is jump off your bike, maybe stand next to a wall, and you can loosen off that upper body. And then when you get off the bike, if you've got time, put in some stretches on the legs. What you'll find if you're doing indoor sessions all the time, you tend to get in that stuck in that static position. So really important if you can do some yoga, some stretches then to use the time when your body's nice and warm and your muscles are nice and supple to put in those extra stretches right you've got one minute left i hope you've enjoyed listening to me ramble on i hope you've been able to maybe learn something that you didn't have before and you can put it into practice over the next course of the couple of weeks or however long you're focusing on your training Right, just kind of spin off now. Go down a few more gears. Oh. I've worked hard, <laughs> and I hope you guys have too. 30 seconds. All right, 25 seconds. Smile should be coming back. I hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I haven't worn you out too much. <laughs> Right, we got coming up 15 seconds now. Don't forget guys, give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you to all of our guests and I'll make sure I see you in another training video. 
in the future. Have a good day or afternoon or evening. Take care.